It's not by chance that anything ends up in a commercial. It is researched to death, it is focus grouped till the end of the world, and it's gotta please the client's mother. I mean, it's ridiculous what an idea has to go through to survive. I can only talk about getting into the creative end of the business, but there's so many good programs now. Like, if you wanna get into marketing, go to Humber and come out of it with your book. You know, they yeah. hook you up, like they, there's a whole network in place now to get young people into the business that didn't exist when I was there. But the thing that helped me was reaching out to people and saying, look, I know I'm not ready to be hired yet, but will you please go through my book with me? Will right. you please tell me why I'm not getting hired and what I need to do? And, and also then it makes contacts. Then I would go and change my book and I'd come back and say, maybe you hire me now, you know, like, yeah. um, I, I would say reach out to people and make as many contacts as you can. And, you know, as much as we talk about what a kooky business it is, a lot of people are really open to, they're flattered that you want their opinion and, and they remember what it was like when they couldn't get in. And, and there's a lot of decent people in the business who are, who are happy. If they have the time, they will help you. Yeah. I think everyone has someone when they're starting to get into the business that will actually literally take hours of their time mm -hmm. to sit down, tell you the truth about what you have. And then, and then maybe your job is to actually listen. And, and if it sounds you know, like it's sound advice, you should go do it. Oh, you have to go do it. Don't be so, listen. <laughs> Here's my biggest piece of advice as, as a creative person. For every ad, whether it's a radio ad, TV, Facebook, whatever, for every one that gets produced, you will have written 30. So you better get the fuck over every word you come in under your mouth being precious, because it's not. And it's literally, what about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? And you, it's, it's, so get over it. Because you, you, th you think, you know, you gave birth to this thing. It was so hard to come up with yeah. it, but clearly it's got to be wonderful. It's not. Yeah. So give birth again. And, and eventually it just becomes a muscle that you use and also you don't take the rejection personally. And, and if you've got a good person saying, it's like, okay, it's a great idea, but it's off strategy. And here's why. Here's how you tilt it onto the strategy, which means the ending has to change. Like, it's not by chance that anything ends up in a commercial. It is researched to death. It is focus grouped till the end of the world. And it's got to please the client's mother. I mean, it's ridiculous what an idea has to go through to survive. So you better be adaptable or you are not in the right business. Yeah. You're not in the right business. And the same thing goes for acting. Same thing goes for any creative venture whatsoever. It is a process. And if you're not willing to admit that it's a process and give yourself over to that process, don't go in the business because it's an exercise in futility. <laughs>